Hello, this is uh, Maya7 and uh, this time I would like to, to deal with the axis because it's so important not only for Maya7 but for any Maya, any animation program like Soft Image or Lightwave, 3D Studio Max so let's start right, from the, right now uh, these are the axes, this is the Z axis and this is the X axis. The Y axis is going up. You don't see it here, but it's going up. And, and, and then it's going down here. Uh, I go to the. To, I go down to, to the down area here. And that is the, the Mel. Uh, the mail bo uh, space, I would call it, the where you have your description. And I type in sphere. That's cor incorrect. It has to be an S before it, right? So when I give a return, and there you have the sphere. And as I can show you here, it's defined in the in the channel box. In the channel box, we have other things like this is a combination from the channel box and the layer box. This is only a channel box. So uh, now I go to to all the other ones you can see, and here it is defined by three axes as you can see the y axis the z axis and the x axis and here it's defined by the x axis let me show that because you cannot see it right there but now you can the x axis and um, the z axis and here it's defined by the y axis and the x axis and here by and I hope you can see it when you have a small screen by the the z axis and the y axis right so um let's go back here to perspective view although it's not really accurate and then later on maybe we can go to one of the other ones um but here I make it a little bit bigger and give it go to shading let me show that a little bit. Go to shading and go to smooth shade all. Then I click on it and then you see everything back here. Uh, by the way, you can do uh, several things here. You can click on, on, on the keyboard one. Excuse me, that was two, but it is one. And you do two, then it's more smooth and three is most smooth. So, but now I have a, a kind of a question that I will ask you and then uh, you can participate in this video. And that is, I want to do something with the translate uh, X, Y and Z. And translate means the position that the ball has on the screen. Right now it has position from 0, 0, 0, exactly here uh, in the middle. 0 on the i-x, on the y-x, 0 on the x-x, and 0 on the, the, the z-x. Now I'm going to uh, change something. For instance, the z-axis, I make that minus 5, minus 5. So, and then I will give a return and then it's going to the position here on the screen for minus 5. And I want you to tell yourself where it's going to be, you know, minus 5 on the z-axis. And you can stop the video right now if you want to with those two little yellow bars left on, on, on the screen, not totally left where uh, but because then you stop it, you have to go all the, the way to the beginning of the video, but the, the two le little ones, you know that ones, and you can stop it, and you can wait as long as you want until you're sure you found it, 
and then come back and then I will give a return key and the ball is going where it has to be. I don't put it there, but the, the program is putting it there, okay? And then we can go on with that if there's enough time. So stop it now if you want. So I'm assume you're back now and I give it a return right now. So it's here. Did you saw did were you thinking that it would be here? I tell you why it is here. At least with regard to this. When when it's positive it goes in this direction of the Z axis. When it's negative it goes here. And the the units are five. One, two, three, four, five. Now it looks that it is not on the fifth one, but it is. And uh, maybe I can I can show that one of the other ones. Here you see that it is one, two, three, four, five, exactly there. And this is the the z axis, and this the y axis. So this is the y axis, and this the z axis. Here the y-axis is negative, and you can tell because here it's not, it's not there. You don't see it here, and here the z-axis is negative. The blue axis is negative here. You don't see it here either, and the units are five. You know, one, two, three, four, five. So uh, let's go back where we were before. So here we are. Um, there's not much time, uh, seven minutes, but I do another one. Uh, uh, let's let's do the Y. The Y. I make the Y. Um, say five. Oh, yeah. Let's say five. Okay. And you can stop now if you want and and predict for yourself where it's going to be, and then you come back. And now when you're back, I give it a return. So did you think that it would be there? And, and the reason is that, um, as I can show on the other ones, the reason is that it is here, because here it, it's a positive Y, right? So five units, and that's that's this one. One, two, three, four, five. And here it's a negative Z X. The Z X is not here, so it's negative. One, two, three, four, five. So it's exactly there. Isn't that beautiful? So I hope you like it and if you have problems with it, contact me and then uh, maybe we can talk more about it. It's very important. So, until next time.